high places is Ma my place. Mahali pa juu ni mahali pangu. Shall we say that together? Yeah. Say high places is my place. Ebu tuseme hiyo. Mahali pa juu. Ngoja ngoja tuseme kwa sauti. Mahali pa juu ni mahali pangu. Again, mahali pa juu ni mahali pangu. Again, mahali pa juu ni mahali pangu. Until you believe it, it will not happen to you. Ni mpaka utakapoamini haitotokea kwako. It's not because we just want you to say it. Sio kwa sababu tunataka tu kusema. I want you to speak. Au tunataka useme wewe. What you say? Tunataka tuseme must be in collaboration with your heart. Unachokisema lazima kipatane na moyo wako. And when it is in collaboration with your heart. Na kinapopatana na moyo wako. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. From the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. Toka katika utele wa moyo mtu hunena. And what you say? Na unachokisema is what you get. Ndicho unachopata. What you say unachokisema is what you get. Ndicho unachokipata. Listen to me. Sikilize. We are in a battle. Tuko vitani. We are in a great battle. Tuko katika vita kuu. Our fathers, baba zetu, they have been in battle. Wamekuwa kwenye vita. But this battle right now, lakini vita hii sasa, is the final battle. Ndio vita ya mwisho. Is the end time battle. Ndio vita ya siku za mwisho. So for you to excel, kwa hiyo kwa wewe kwenda mbele, for you to stay at the high places. Kwa wewe kubaki mahali pa juu. And remain there. Na kubaki hapo. You got to find Naitaji Mungu apibane na wewe. I say you need to fight. Naitaji kupambana. You must fight. Lazima upambane. And your fight come with your mouth. Na vita vyako vinatumia pia kinywa chako unasema. You decree. Unaitangaza wazi. In the book of Job the Bible says. Katika kitabu cha Ayubu Biblia inasema. You shall decree a thing. Utasema jambo and it shall be established unto you. The, the light will shine upon your way. Nuru itangaa kwako. So the light will not shine on your way. Kwa hiyo njia haitangaa kwako. Nuru. The light will not shine on your way. Nuru haitangaa kwako. Until you decree a thing. Mpaka utakaposema jambo. So you are continue to walk in darkness. Kwa hiyo utaendelea kutembea gizani. Well, you are not supposed to be in darkness. Lakini hupaswi kuwa gizani. Because you have not learned to decree things. Kwa sababu hujatamka vitu unavyotamka. Servant of God must learn to decree things. Kwa hiyo lazima uanze kutamka vitu. You shall decree a thing. Utasema jambo. And it shall be established. Nalo litakuwa. And the light shall shine upon your way. Na nuru itangaa njia yako. So when light start to shine on your way, ili nuru ingae njia yako. So that means you cannot be in darkness. Ina maana huwezi kuwa gizani. Some say they know not. Zaburi inasema hawajui. And they do not understand. Wala hawafahamu. They walk on in darkness. Wanatembea gizani. How can you come out of darkness? Wawezaje toka gizani? Are you making a decree for yourself? Kwa wewe kujitamkia mwenyewe. I want you to rise up one more time. Nataka usimame mara moja zaidi. Wake in your heart. Hebu simama ndani mwako. Rise on your feet. Simama. Are you are going to pray this prayer? Na tutaomba maombi haya. Hey Bwana, I see me getting to my high places. Ninajiona nikifika mahali pangu pa juu. I see me getting into my high places. Ninajiona nikifika mahali pangu pa juu. Stop me. Na hakuna kitakachonizia. I refuse to be stopped. Hakuna nimekataa kuzua. Pray prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. katika jina la Yesu. Omba omba kama unamaanisha. Omba kama unamaanisha. Kwamba nakataa. Kuzuiwa. To be to Hakuna kita kachonizuia. Nisaidie nifike mahali pangu pa juu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Nisaidie baba. Nisaidie baba. Nisaidie mfalme. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus Christ name. Amen. Father we thank you for understanding. Baba tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya uelewa. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Are we ready? Tuko tayari. High place. Mahali pa juu is the heavenly place. Ni mahali pa mbinguni. High place is the heavenly place. Mahali pa juu ni mahali pa mbinguni. Is heavenly places. Ni mahali pa mbinguni. Kwa Kiingereza sasa naongea mahali pengi sio pamoja are you hearing me now na nisikia so for us to understand in english i say is a heavenly place kwa hiyo ili kuelewa kwa kiingereza nimesema ni mahali pa mbinguni and when you say is a heavenly place na unaposema ni mahali pa mbinguni it means it connotes the realm of the spirit ina maanisha ya kwamba ni ulimwengu wa roho it connotes the realm 
of the spirit so the high place is the realm of the spirit do you get that the high place is the realm of the spirit now the spiritual realm, write this down. Sasa andika hii, ulimwengu wa roho. Rules the physical realm. Unatawala ulimwengu wa mwili. Andika hii. The spiritual realm. Ulimwengu wa kiroho. Rules the physical realm. Unatawala ulimwengu wa kimwili. There's a scripture that says. Kuna andiko nalosema. As God is in heaven. Kama mbamo mungu yuko mbinguni. So we are here. Ndivyo tulivo hapa. So God is in heaven is in a spiritual place. Kwa mungu yuko mbinguni katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. Well we are in the physical place. Kini sisi tuko maali pa kimwili. So you need to understand. Kwa unaiteji kuelewa. As the servants of God. Kama that the realm of the spirit roho, rules the physical realm. So anything that you want to get in the physical, you must get it in the spirit first. Amen. Lazima ukipate kwanza katika ulimwengu wa roho. Anything that you want to get in the physical, you have to get it first in the spirit if you fail to get it in the spirit it will not be manifested in the physical you get that now so according to the scripture that we have been given Ephesians 2 6 Ephesians 2 6 the Bible says and he has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places Bible says akatufufua pamoja nae akatuketisha pamoja nae katika ulimwengu wa roho katika Kristo Yesu in heavenly places in Christ katika ulimwengu wa roho katika Kristo Yesu oh hallelujah amen hallelujah amen i want us to read that together nataka tusome pamoja your bible please hebu angalia biblia yako you need to have your Bible. So turn it to Ephesians 2, 6. I want to show you something powerful here. Very powerful. Ephesians 2, 6. Are we ready to read it together? I know you open your Bible quickly. We are not in hurry. Hatuna haraka. We are servants of God. Ni watumishi wa Mungu. All right? Amen. Ephesians 2:6. 1 2 read. Akatufufua naye. Akatuketisha pamoja naye uh -huh. aka pa nae katika ulimwengu wa roho katika Kristo Yesu. Listen to this, there's a problem. Hebu sikiliza, kuna shida. Can you read your scripture again? Ngoja nisome andiko lako. Akatufufua pamoja naye. Akatufufua. He raised us up. Sio ata akatuinua not that he is going to say ali tufufua the swahili translation says he resurrected us in this scripture in the english katika kiingereza andiko hili the word to raise is is the same word as to resurrect neno kufufua ndio neno lile lile kufufua and the bible says somewhere na biblia inasema that if the spirit Ikiwa roho the race of Christ alifufua Kristo he didn't use the word resurrect haikutumia neno kufufua kwa kiingereza resurrect the, the spirit the race of Christ anasema kama roho yule yule aliyemfufua so, Kristo all of you that are understanding this in english kwa hiyo nyinyi wote mnaelewa kwa kiingereza the word race neno kufufua and to resurrect na ku okay, kwa kiswahili tuseme neno kuinua na kufufua is the same word ni neno hilo hilo you understand now? Naelewa, eh? So now the Bible says Sasa Biblia inasema He resurrect us. Alitufufua. You can only resurrect that which is dead. Unaweza tu kufufua kile kilichokufa. You don't resurrect what is alive. Ah ah, hufufui kilicho hai. We are dead. We've been dead. Tumekuwa wafu, tulikufa. Now this death 
Sasa mauti hii is not a physical death. Sio mauti ya kimwili. Like people ask me in the Bible school. Ambayo watu wananiuliza kwenye shule ya Biblia. When God told Adam that you are going to die if you eat it. Mungu alipomwambia Adam utakufa ukila. But Adam ate it he didn't die. Lakini Adam alikula akufa. So I told them he died. Nikamwambia na alikufa. When God said you are going to die it doesn't mean physical death. Mungu aliposema utakufa ikumaanisha mauti ya kimwili. He died everything that he was possessing died kila alichokuwa anamiliki kilikufa so we have been dead kwa hiyo tulikuwa tumekufa dead in poverty tukifa kwenye umasikini dead in immorality kufa katika uchafu wa kimwili dead in downness kufa katika kwenda chini dead in lack and want kwenda kufa katika kukosa so na kuitaji at all kwa wakati tutazama dead in sin tumekufa dhambini then he raised us up basi akatufufua He raised you up akakufufua to where Ili, to heavenly places kwenda wapi kwenda katika ulimwengu wa roho high places kwenda mahali pa juu where nothing can control you anymore ambapo hakuna kinachoweza kukudhibiti tena where you are to be in charge ambapo unapaswa kuwa wewe ndio mdhibiti this scripture andiko hili is the scripture that is pointing to the fulfillment of the word that told that God told Adam Hili andiko ni andiko linaloelekeza utimilifu wa neno ambalo Mungu alimwambia Adam When God created Adam Mungu alipomuumba Adam and if na if he told them many things akawaambia mambo mengi Among them he said have dominion Kati yao akamwambia tawaleni dominion tawaleni You cannot have dominion Uwezi kutawala if you are down ukiwa uko chini You cannot have dominion Uwezi kutawala if you are failed ikiwa umeshindwa So the Bible says Kwa Biblia inasema we are being raised up tumefufuliwa raised up together tumefufuliwa pamoja Oh hallelujah Amen Are we, are we together today Tuko pamoja jamani Ni together hapa Anasema hivi uh-huh. akatufufua uh-huh. pamoja naye He raised up with him Kwa hiyo tulifufuliwa na yeye He raised us up with Christ. Ali tufufua na Kristo. And the Bible says, Na Biblia inasema, Christ is sitting at the right hand of God the Father. Kristo ameketi mkono wa kuume wa Baba. I up there. Kwa mimi kule juu. So because he has raised you up there. Kwa sababu amekuinua. You are in Christ. Na wewe uko ndani ya Kristo. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Of him you are in Christ. Kwa wewe uliye katika Kristo. Who also is in God. Mbaye pia yu ndani ya Mungu. Christ is in God. Kristo yuko katika Mungu. You are in Christ. Wewe uko ndani ya Mungu. So automatically, Kwa yu moja kwa moja. You are in God. Wewe uko ndani ya Mungu. So God has put you. Kwa yu Mungu amekuweka in his level katika nafasi yake oh au kiwango chake God has put us in his level Mungu ametuweka kwenye nafasi kiwango chake That is why he said Ndio maana anasema I have said Nimesema Psalms 82 Zaburi 82 I have said Nimesema Ye are God Ninyi miungu And he told Moses Akamwambia Musa See Tazama I have made you a God Nimekufanya Mungu I am kubo secretary and I have made you a god. Nimekufanya Mungu. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. As he is in heaven. Kama alivyo kule So mungu. you are Ndivyo na wewe ulivyo hapa duniani. You are more than you are you are more than what you think that you are. Wewe u zaidi ya vile unavyofikiri ulivyo. The devil is just messing with us. Shetani anajaribu tu kutuvuruga. Because we allow him to mess with us. Kwa sababu tumemruhusu atuvuruge. You are a god. Wewe ni Mungu. I say you are a god. Nimesema wewe ni Mungu. You are in the realm of a god. Uko katika ulimwengu wa kuwa Mungu. Without you nothing should be done. Pasipo wewe hakuna kinachopaswa kuzaliwa. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. He has raised us up. Ametuinua in Christ. Katika Kristo. Now sasa the reason why i'm saying this sababu kwani nasema hii is because everyone here sasa kila mmoja hapa you are in christ uko ndani ya kristo you cannot be a servant of jesus if you are not in jesus uwezi ukawa mtumishi wa yesu kama huko ndani ya yesu this is not an evangelistic meeting aa usio mkutano wa kiinjili this is for the people that are in christ hii ni kwa ajili ya watu walio katika kristo you are in christ kama huko katika kristo you are sitting in heaven basi umeketi mahali pa juu Now what is the problem? Sasa tatizo ni nini? The heavenly places mahali pa juu au katika ulimwengu wa roho ni mahali pa kiroho. Do we get that? Naipata hiyo. Let's go to Twende. number 2. Namba 2. Ephesians 1:3. Wa Efeso 1:3. Ephesians 1:3. Wa Efeso 1:3. 
Shauri da. Atukuzwe Mungu. Yes. Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Uh -huh. Aliye tubariki kwa baraka zote za rohoni. Uh -huh. Katika ulimwengu wa roho ndani yake Kristo. Now, sikiliza vizuri. Uh, listen to this very careful. Uh -huh. Anasema hivi, atukuzwe Mungu. Blessed be the God. Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Lord Christo, Jesus Christ. Aliyetubariki who has blessed kwa baraka zote za rohoni with all spiritual blessings. Katika ulimwengu wa roho in the spiritual realm ndani yake Kristo in Christ. Amen. You see now. Umeona hiyo? Your blessings baraka zako are in the spirit. Ziko katika ulimwengu wa roho. The second chance is now. Nafasi ya pili iko sasa. Now is the time for us to arise. Sasa ni wakati wetu sisi kuinuka. Have you seen that scripture in Isaiah? Umeona hilo andiko kwenye Isaya? Say arise. Anasema amka. Arise. Amka. Shine. Na uangaze. So there is no shining. Kwa hiyo hakuna kuangaza. Don't you rise. Paka uamke. Right. Arise and shine. Amka na uangaze. Ladies and gentlemen, mabibi na mabwana, we are privileged to see this day. Tuna fursa ya kuiona siku yele. We can make it in Christendom. Tuna weza kufanikiwa katika ulimwengu wa Kristo. And I'm here to place in your hand. Na niko apa kuweka mikono ni mwako. The ingredient that you need to get to the high places. Vile vitu mabu ita kusaidia kukufikisha we maali pa juu. Somebody say amen. Ibu sema amena. Say loud amen. Sema kwa sauti kuwe amen. So now the blessing is in high place we can see. Kwa hiyo mahali hapo ambapo pako mahali pa juu tunapoweza kuona. The blessing is in high place. Baraka hizo ziko mahali pa juu. How do I assess? Nawezaje kutathmini? What is in the spirit? Nini kilichoko katika ulimwengu wa roho? Which is the high places? Ambacho ni sehemu ya juu. You wewe automatically moja kwa moja if you are born again kama umeokoka you are already in high places tayari uko mahali pa juu you understand that now naelewa hilo eh? you are born again umeokoka servant of god to me you are in high high places tayari uko mahali pa juu now let me tell you what are the things the things that are in high places sasa ngoja nikwambie vitu vilivyoko katika mahali pa juu many many things mambo mengi all things that will make your life comfortable mambo yote ambayo yatafanya maisha yako yawe na raha the revelation that you need Revelation? Yes. Yes. Mafunuo ambayo unahitaji. Plus the revelation that you need. Pamoja na hayo mafunuo unayohitaji. John had to be taken to the high places to see the revelation. Ah ah. Sio lazima upeleke mahali pa juu ili uone mafunuo. John, oh sorry, Johanna had ali, to be taken to the high place. Johanna ilibidi apelekwe mahali pa juu ili the revelation mafunuo. And the revelation that he saw, na mafunuo aliyoyaona, he spoke it out. Akayatamka. You are in high places already. Wewe tayari uko mahali pa juu. By the virtue of being in Christ. Kwa kitendo cha wewe kuwa katika Kristo. So now that you are in high places. Sasa kwamba uko mahali pa juu. The problem is. Tatizo ni hili. What is in the high places? Ule mahali pa juu pana nini? Can not come to the physical places ordinarily. Ambacho wakiwezi kuja hapa katika ulimwengu wa damu na nyama kikawaida. If you open your eyes. Kama Mungu akifungua macho yako. Who you are in the spirit. Kuona wewe ni nani katika ulimwengu wa roho. You be mad. You go mad utakasika you are too powerful yani wewe una nguvu sana that is why the devil is after you ndio maana shetani anakukimbizia who, who are you that the devil will be after you ah, sasa wewe ni nani mpaka shetani akufuatilie you are too small eh wewe ni mdogo if sana if devil is to have age kama shetani ingekuwa ni swala la kuona umri ah. I don't know how many trillions of years. Sijui how old are you? You are not even up to 100 years. miaka mingapi? Hata mtu ana miaka 100. You are too small for the devil. Wewe ni mdogo sana kwa shetani. Why is he after you? Kwa nini akukimbizie? He's after you because of what God has vested inside of you. Ana kukimbizia kwa sababu ya kile ambacho Mungu amekiwekeza ndani yako. There is something God has vested inside of you. Kuna kitu ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako. That is precious and powerful. Ambacho ni cha thamani na cha nguvu. And those things are the thing to make your life comfortable. Na hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo vimemaanishwa kuyafanya maisha yako yawe na raha. Until you are comfortable, paka uwe na raha. You cannot release comfort to anybody. Hauwezi kuachilia hiyo raha kwa mtu yoyote. Asiele lege. Narudia tena. Until you are comfortable, paka uwe mwenyewe katika hali ya raha. You cannot release comfort to anybody. Huwezi ukaachilia raha kwa mwingine yoyote. When you stand on the pulpit, unaposimama madhabahuni, you read the Bible, unasoma Biblia, you teach the people na wafundisha watu. Well, you are pressed. Lakini wewe mwenyewe uko kwenye hali ngumu. 
you are beaten you are in pain you are in lack and want even though you are reading the scripture and try to teach the people listen to me I'm sorry, forgive me. What you are reading is from your throat. Because if it is from your heart, what is in your heart is lack and want. It's pain. Maumivu. So what you are saying to the people you are spreading pain to them. We many times we spread pain to our people. I tell my pastors all the time we are human beings. We get into trouble. We have pain. But before you clamp the pulpit remove all the pain that you have and speak to the people. Don't spread pain to the people. Don't spread poverty to the people. Why are you spreading that? Because you don't have. Paul said with the same comfort that we have been comforted of God we will comfort other people. We will comfort our congregation bishop. So if I am not comforted if I don't have any comfort. I don't have it. You cannot give it if you don't have it. Are you hearing me now? Nani si Kama una, if you uwe don't give, you yote. can't give it to nobody. You will give somebody what, what you have. You have is what you give. Kama una faraja, if you don't have comfort, faraja. you can't give comfort. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are in heavenly places. In the spirit. So how do we bring the blessing? Let's read that scripture one more time. For the last Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us, past tense, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Atukuze Mungu. Baba wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliye tubariki yani tayari alisha tubariki Aha, sio kwamba atatubariki sio kwamba atatubariki Asante alisha tubariki Ehe. kwa baraka zote za rohoni katika ulimwengu wa roho ndani ya Kristo Yesu Can you see that Unaona hiyo He already blessed alisha tubariki Wow we know bless Kwa nini hatuna hizo baraka How do I assess the blessings that are in heavenly places? Now is that you could have many barakas in Zoko Katikoli Munguaro? Could have many of what? Assess. Assess. Yes. Access. Oh, now is that you could see part? Access. So, yes. How do I assess the now blessings that are in heavenly places? Kuzi part or Kuzi Fikia? Barakas in Zoko Katikoli Munguaro. The foundation for assessing. The blessing that is in heavenly places is faith. Singi wa kuzifikia baraka zilizo katika ulimwengu wa roho ni imani. Faith. Imani. Faith. Imani. That is the foundation. Huo ndio msingi. There are other things but everything stand on that faith. Yako mambo mengine lakini kila kitu kinasimama juu ya imani. You cannot assess. Huwezi kufikia olomoka ba. You can't get what is there in the physical. Huwezi kupata kilichoko kule katika ulimwengu wa mwili. Until you have faith. Paka uwe na imani. And this faith is not faith that you speak that oh I have faith. No. Na hii imani sio ile unaongea kwamba nina imani. It is a faith that walk by action. Ni imani itendayo matendo. Mm. Faith. Imani. Somebody say faith. Hebu sema imani. Say faith. Imani. What we lack in the body of Christ right now tunachokosa katika mwili wa Kristo sasa is the real faith. Ni imani halisi. The real faith. Imani halisi. We don't have it. Hatuna. We pretend that we have faith. Tuajifanyisha kuwa nayo. You don't have it. Lakini hatuna. If you have faith, kama una imani, you will start that business that you do not have money to start, you will start it. Utaanza kitu ambacho hata una pesa ya kwanza utakianza. Nasema hivi. Kama una imani kweli kweli, utaanzisha hiyo biashara. 
una hela ya kufanya lakini utaingie tu you will start that business even if you don't have money you will just blow yourself and enter in I hear you now. Nani sikia? This faith that we are talking about Imani tunayozungumzia is the faith that works by action. Ni imani tendayo kazi kwa matendo. Faith that step out. Imani ambayo inatoka. Faith that doesn't that doesn't look at what people will say. Imani ambayo haiangalii nani anasema nini. That is the faith that brings it down from heaven. Hiyo ndio imani inayoshusha baraka kutoka mbinguni. Your blessing will remain in heavenly places. Baraka zako zitabakia kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. You get an anchor paka upate nanga asante until you get an anchor to paka, pull it down paka upate nanga ya kusukuma so chini faith is the anchor to put the blessing that is in the spirit into the kwa imani ndio nanga ya kuvuta baraka zilizoko kwenye ulimwengu wa roho kuja katika ulimwengu wa mwili you hear that man msikia hiyo faith imani is the anchor ndio nanga that you will use ambayo tumia to pull the blessings kuvuta baraka that are in the spiritual realm ambazo ziko katika ulimwengu wa roho into the physical zije katika ulimwengu wa mwili write this down <laughs> andika hii the words of your mouth maneno ya kinywa chako is as a result of the words from your heart ndio matokeo ya maneno kutoka moyoni mwako iandike hiyo The words of your mouth maneno ya kinywa chako are product of the words in your heart. Ndio matokeo ya maneno unayozungumza moyoni mwako. The Bible says Biblia inasema as he thinking in his heart. Kama mtu awazavyo moyoni mwake. So you see. Ndivyo alivyo. From the abundance of the heart toka katika utele wa moyo the mouth speaks. Kinywa unena. When you see something that is not convenient. Ukiona kitu ambacho sio sahihi Something that is not good for Kitu you. Kitu sio chema kwako. You don't give life to it. Ah, uh, who uzima? Oh, life. Shema hai. Mm. Write this down. Everyone the words of your mouth, maneno ya kinywa chako, breathe lies to the situation around you. Yanaachilia pumzi ya uhai kwenye hali unayokuzunguka. You get that? Maipata hii. That is powerful. The words of your mouth, maneno ya kinywa chako, breathe lies, yanaachilia pumzi ya uhai kwenye hali unayokuzunguka. Kwenye hali unayokuzunguka. So when negative situation is there, wayo hali hasi ikiwepo, then you speak. Alafu wewe unazungumza. Don't forget, usisahau. You can speak. You cannot speak. Huwezi kuzungumza until it is in your heart. Mpaka iwe huko ndani moyoni. I want you to follow me please. Nataka unifuate. You cannot speak to Huwezi kuzungumza kwa chochote until the words in your heart. Mpaka itoke ndani. Because the Bible says, so Biblia inasema, from what is in you, kutokana na kichoko ndani mwako, you speak. Ndio unazungumza. So if it is in your heart, kwa kama kiko moyoni mwako, it means you have collaborated with that situation. Ina maana umeshirikiana na ile hali. If it's a business that is falling down kama ni biashara inayoanguka and you say in your heart hapo unasema moyoni mwako I won't be able to pay my uh, my loan sitaweza kulipa mkopo wangu it's in your heart iko ndani you have not spoken it ujaizungumza but because it's in your heart iko sababu iko ndani it will pull its itself out of your mouth itaanza kujitoa kinywani so when it comes out of your mouth itakapotoka kinywani you are finished au umemaliza that is why the bible says ndio maana biblia inasema you no say in front of an angel usiseme mbele ya malaika that you are playing or is an error kwamba hii ilikuwa ni kosa what you say unachokisema is what you get ndicho unachopata so you You can breathe life. Kwa hiyo wewe unaweza ukaachilia pumzi ya uhai. Kwenye mauti yoyote inayokuzunguka. And Ezekiel said, Ezekiel anasema, you know on oh God. Wewe unajua e Mungu. I'm not saying anything. Sisemi chochote. And God said, Mungu akasema, speak. Zungumza. And he spoke. Na akazungumza. And when he spoke, alipozungumza, something happened. Kitu kikatokea. How many of you? Wangapi wenu? Bishop Maskofu, pastors wachungaji you wake up in the night mnaamka usiku you go to your church unaenda kanisani kwako alone by yourself na uko peke yako and you walk around there alafu unazunguka pale inside the church ndani ya kanisa and speak life alafu unatamka uzima mm. and call people from the north south east and the west na kuwaita watu kutoka kaskazini kusini mashariki na magharibi important people watu wa muhimu how many times have you been doing that mara ngapi umekuwa ukifanya hivyo how many of you wangapi wetu you go to your business unaenda kwenye biashara yako all the workers have gone wakati wa wafanyakazi wote wameondoka and you speak life alafu unaachilia uzima haleluya haleluya if there are only five people that can understand kama kuna watu watano tu wataelewa 
I'm happy. Nitafurahi. Look at your hand. Angalia mkono wako. Say this hand is blessed. Sema mkono huu umebarikiwa. Say this hand is blessed. Sema mkono huu umebarikiwa. Say like this hand is blessed. Sema mkono huu umebarikiwa. So if you touch a microphone, wewe ukigusa microphone. By the time you put it down, utakapoiweka chini. That microphone is a blessed microphone. Tayari imebarikiwa hiyo. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So you don't have any problem, you are the problem of your life. Kwa hiyo wewe una shida yoyote, wewe ndio tatizo la maisha yako. You are the problem. Wewe ndio tatizo. The doctor say okay you have this. Daktari anasema eh una hii shida. So what? Kwa hiyo your body is entitled to have anything of this earth. Mwili wako una haki ya kupata chochote katika dunia hii. You, you get that eh? Yes. I say that again. Na your body, body mwili wako. This body, hu mwili hu. Don't forget, usisahau. It's a dust. Huu ni udongo tu, vumbi. Product of dust. Ni matokeo ya vumbi. So this body is entitled. Kwa hiyo mwili huu unastahili to have dusty behavior. Kupata tabia za kivumbi vumbi. Za kiudongo udongo. Right. And dusty behavior. Na tabia hizi za kiudongo udongo. Things grow from the dust. Vitu huwa vinakuwa kutoka kwenye vumbi mdongo. Insects come from right. the dust. Wadudu wanatoka kwenye udongo. So when insect something is growing in your body. Wao kama kuna kitu kinakuwa mwilini mwako. You have to go to a level to know that this body is not you. Kwa hiyo lazima ufahamu ya kwamba mwili huu sio wewe. You are using the body as a container. Wewe unatumia huu mwili kama kibebeo. The real you cannot be taught with the things of this world. Wewe halisi uwezi kuguswa na vitu vya dunia hii. So what you are to do? Kwa hiyo unachopaswa kufanya. The Bible says don't forget. Biblia inasema usisahau. You shall decree a thing. Utatamka jambo. It didn't say you shall decree a thing to somebody. Ah ah, haikusema utatamka jambo kwa mtu fulani. You shall decree a thing. Utatamka jambo. It shall be to yourself. Inaweza kuwa kwa mtu somebody au kwa mwingine so you decree kwa hiyo unakitongoza body unasema mwili listen to me nisikilize are you okay wewe uko sawa get well hebu pona and you forget about it alafu unasahau you are well uko vizuri go give us understanding mungu atupe uelewa that is why i said ndio maana nilisema we are powerful more than these people sisi tuna nguvu kuliko hao watu People fly in the night. Watu wanaruka usiku. Do you know flying is not their own? Unajua kuruka sio ya kwao hiyo. Flying is our own. Ya kuruka ni ya kwetu. Are you going like this? Unanitazama hivi, huja maana sema nini huyu? Flying is not their own. Kuruka sio ya kwao. Flying is our own. Ni ya kwetu. We are the one to fly in the spirit. Sisi ndio tunapaswa kuruka katika ulimwengu wa roho. There is no distance in the spirit. Kwa sababu hakuna umbali katika roho. If you have a child in the US, kama una mtoto Marekani, or in Australia, au Australia. You don't have to go there to change the life of that child. Sio lazima uende ukaangalie maisha ile mtoto anaendelea. You do it right here. Unaifanyia hapa hapa. Oh hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How did Philip go to Samaria? Kwani Philip alifikaje Samaria? How did he get there? Alifikaje. You are more powerful than Philip. Wewe ni una nguvu zaidi ya Philip. Are we together now? Tuko pamoja. Because what we have today, kwa tulicho nacho leo, Philip didn't have them. Philip hakuwa navyo. They just walk by faith. Wao walienda tu kwa imani. We are not only walking by faith. We atuendi tu kwa imani. We have the source the fountain of faith which is the word of god tunacho chanzo chanzo cha imani ambacho ni neno la mungu i want to challenge you nataka nikutie changamoto dare to do something impossible thubutu kufanya jambo lisilowezekana dare to do something impossible thubutu kufanya kisichowezekana what people has concluded is impossible kile ambacho watu wameitimisha kwamba hakiwezekani see it is possible sema inawezekana because the bible says kwa sababu biblia inasema things are possible to them that have faith vyote vinawezekana kwa wale wanaoamini all things vyote plus raising the dead pamoja na kufufua wafu listen to me nisikilize we are powerful sisi tuna nguvu we have the real thing tuna kitu halisi you have the real thing una kitu halisi your church can move forward kanisa lako linaweza kwenda mbele your ministry can move forward huduma yako inaweza kuendelea let me go to this line hebu niende kwenye huu mstari many 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 bishop many pastors maaskofu au wachungaji wengi many women of god men of god wanawake na wanaume wengi wa mungu when god calls you wanafikiri mungu anapokuita is you are only to be staying here on the pulpit yani wewe yako ni kubaki tu hapa madhabahuni 
kula kuva eat kila kitu unategemea watu everything you depend upon people it's not true ah uh-uh. ah sio kweli it's not true sio kweli pastors wachungaji think of the business that you can do to help you and your family hebu fikiria biashara ambayo unaweza kuifanya isaidie familia yako This is the place where we are going to the high places, right? Hapa ndipo mahali tunapoenda mahali pa juu. Ndivyo tunavofika mahali pa juu. This how we get to the high places. Ndivyo unavofika mahali pa juu. Do something. Fanye jambo. I told all our pastors. Niliwaambia wachungaji wangu wote. By the grace of God we have many pastors. Kwa neema ya Mungu tunao wengi. I say in this ministry. Nikamwambia katika huduma hii. You are not allowed to continue here if you are doing nothing. Hauruhusiwi kuendelea hapa kama ufanyi kitu. At least angalau do something that will take 40% of your life. Angalia fanya jambo ambalo litachukua angalau 40% ya maisha yako. No more than that. Sio zaidi hapo. If it is farming, kama ni kilimo, go to farming. Nenda kalimo. If it's trading, kama ni biashara, go to trading. Nenda kafanye biashara. You have some money, una pesa. Somebody pay big tight. Mtu ametoa fungu la 10 kubwa. You are thinking of buying yourself a new car. Unaenda kujinunulia gari jipya. You are crazy. I'm sorry. Una shida huko kichwani. Why don't you open a shop? Kwa nini usifungue duka? Put your wife there. Mweke mke wako hapo. Bishop said Askofu alisema Bishop say something Askofu alisema Masasu say something Masasu alisema If kick you out of the church what will you do Kama wakikufukuza kwenye kanisa unafanya nini <laughs> Kwa sababu wewe ni alpha na omega ya kanisa Hamna kitu kama hicho Wanaweza kusimama kwamba atukutaki tena imeisha kwa heri nenda kwenu utafanyaje because you are alpha and omega of the church there is nothing like that they can stand and come against you we don't need you anymore what will you do some of you that are working in denomination by the end of mama nafanya kazi if you are bishop we don't want you again what will you do wakisema hatukutaki tena utafanya nini we need to wake up lazima tuamke and pay attention na kuweka usikivu do something fanya kitu you are blessed Umebarikiwa do something fanya kitu bless the people wabariki watu raise the people inua watu pastors as to send people to school wachungaji lazima wawapeleke watu shuleni they have some children in the church you look at them your mother cannot do your father cannot do i send you to school kuna watoto ambao wako hapa wazazi wao hawawezi wapeleke shule but if you don't have how can you send them to lakini school lakini kama huna unawapelekaje shule you are in high places uko mahali pa juu you have to think of what to do lazima ufikirie hilo during this corona time all over the world katika kipindi hiki cha corona ulimwengu mzima so people that are not born again watu ambao hawajaokoka they made millions walitengeneza mamilioni why don't you make your own million kwa nini na wewe usitengeneze milioni za So how can they depend on you if you have nothing to offer them? Sasa wanakutegemeaje kama una kitu cha kuwapa? So what I say to people our people? Kwa hiyo napo nachoambia watu wangu. No matter how you are going to do it, it doesn't matter how. Haijalishi utafanyaje? Go to the farm. Go to, Go to the farm. Nenda shambani. 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 Stop thinking of selling clothes. Acha kufikiria kuuza nguo. Stop thinking of selling shoes. Acha kufikiria kuuza viatu. Are hungry will not be able, they will not go for clothes and shoes. Watu wenye njaa watanunua viatu na nguo. They will go for food. Watanunua chakula. If there is any problem today. Kama kuna shida yoyote leo. I am telling you. Ninakuambia. All our members are they are safe. Wa shirika wetu watu wako salama. We can move from Arusha. Tunaweza kutoka Arusha to my farm. Kwenda shambani kwangu. And we will live there and eat for the next three years tutakaa pale na kula kwa miaka mitatu ijayo if it is goats they are there kama ni mbuzi wapo now god has blessed me another place there are fishes there a lot Masa, of fish mungu amenibariki mahali pengine kuna samaki kibao think of what to do fikiria cha kufanya to change your destiny kubadilisha mustakabali wako so that when wako. you start to speak to them ili unaposimama kuwazunguzisha you are not talking like a beggar au ongei kama omba omba i know you don't like it Ajo <laughs> ipendi. Sorry. Mlisamee. We are going to the high places, right? Si tunaenda mahali pa juu, si ndio? I know two or three people are getting what I'm talking about. Ajo watu wawili au watatu wanapata wanachokizungumza. So by faith, we kwa imani step out. Toka. So wow. let's think of what we can do as men and women of God. Kwa hiyo tufikirie tuwezacho kukifanya kama wanaume na wanawake let's wa Mungu. Let's change the lives of the people. Hebu tubadilishe maisha ya watu. Plant maize. Panda mahindi. Plant beans. Panda maharage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oil is expensive. Plant alizeti and sunflower. Eh alizeti eh. Panda alizeti. 
And God will bless it. Don't say there is no rain. My dear, for you, God will bring rain. Because you are walking by faith. Somebody say, I understand. Say, I understand. Faith. Let's read this scripture. Hebrews 3, 19. This is a scripture the apostle gave us. So we see that they could not enter because of unbelief. They could not enter because of unbelief. Enter where? Enter their rest. What is rest? Pumziko ni nini? High place. Mahali pa juu. The place of shining. Mahali pa kunga. The place of glory. Mahali pa utukufu. They could not enter because of their own Hawakweza kuingia kwa sababu ya kutukua. So if there is any devil that is oppressing our lives. Kwa kama kuna shetani yoyote aletenda kazi maisha ni mwetu. It's unbelief. Ni kutukua mini. Believe in God. Muamini Bwana Mungu wako. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20. Mambo ya nyakati ya pili sura ya 20. Believe in the Lord thy God. Muamini Bwana Mungu wako. You will be established. Utaimarishwa. Believe in the Lord thy God. Muamini Bwana Mungu wako. Have faith in him. Muamini yeye. Our faith must be stir up. Imani yetu lazima iamshwe. Must be resurrected. Lazima ifufuliwe. So that we can do great things. Ili tufanye makuu. Romans 4:17 Warumi 4:17 Romans 4:17 Warumi 4:17 As it is written I am made thee a father of many nations before whom he believe even God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things that be not as though they were calleth mark that calleth those things that be not as though they were Kama alivyoandikwa nimekuweka kuwa baba wa mataifa mengi mbele zake yeye aliye muamini yani Mungu mwenye kuwawisha wafu ayatajaye yale yasiyo kwako kana kwamba yamekuwapo wekea alama hiyo wekea alama hiyo anasemaje hivi ayatajaye yale yasiyo kwako kana kwamba yamekuwako au anaita kitu ambayo hakipo he is calling that which is not existing. Are you hearing me now? He is calling that which is not there as if they were there. Anaita kile kitu ambacho hakipo kana kwamba kimekuwapo. That is the God that we are serving. Huyo ndiye Mungu tunayemtumikia. And that is the level that we should be. Na ndicho kiwango tunachopaswa kuwa. That is the level that we should be. Ndicho kiwango tunachopaswa kuwa. You get to the level where you call the thing that is not there and you call them to be there. Unafika kwenye kiwango ambako unaita vitu ambavyo haviko kana kwamba vipo. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go, who collect those things that be not as though they were? You are the one to do that job here. Go, is doing that job in heaven. You are doing it here. You are doing that job in heaven. You are doing it here. The Bible says, "Heaven is the throne of God." Heaven is the throne of God. 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 And as he is in heaven, as he has power in heaven, so you have power here. In order you don't know how to use your faith. Speak, something will happen. Somebody say, I understand. Did you just say, be clap, hallelujah, be clap, you can clap. What will hinder me from getting to the, to my high place? So I'm going to finish here. What will hinder me from getting to my high place? Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 1. 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 Sorry, Deuteronomy 32. Sorry. Kumbukumbu ya Torati 32. Verse 11 to 13. Sorry, wa kumna moja pa wa kumna tatu. Now this person, that's a mtu huyu, was called Jacob. Alikuwa na ito Yakobo. You know the story. Rajua yu simulizi. We are not going to spend time there. Atuta soma yu habari. Jacob was a thief. Yakobo alikuwa muizi. Even the name means a thief. Ata ilo jine na manisha muizi. You understand now? Na ilewa. He stole 
Akaiba is brother birthright. Haki ya uzali wa kwanza ya kaka. It doesn't matter whether God planning like that or not, but it's told. Haijalishi hata kama Mungu alipanga hivyo lakini aliiba. Okay? Sasa so, so. This scripture is talking about this guy. Andiko hili linazungumza kuhusu huyu bwana. This man, huyo mtu after stealing, baada ya kuiba, he ran akakimbia because they will he will be killed kwa sababu angeuawa so he ran for his life kwa hiyo akabidi aokoe maisha yake kwa kukimbia lakini kuna kitu kikatokea please read it for us listen tutasoma kumbukumbu ya torati 32 kuanzia mstari wa 11 mfano wa tai atahairikishaye kioto chake na kupapatika juu ya makinda yake alikunjua mabawa yake akawatoa akawachukua juu ya mbawa zake Bwana peke yake amuongoza wala hapakuwa na Mungu mgeni pamoja naye. Msari wa 13. Alimpandisha mahali pa nchi palipoinuka. Naye akala mazao ya mashamba, akamnyonyesha asali iliyotoka jabalini na mafuta yaliyotoka katika mwamba wa gumegume. Verse 13 again. Msari wa 13 tena. Alimpandisha mahali pa nchi palipoinuka. Au mahali pa juu. Oh. Uh-huh. The high place. Uh-huh. Read it. Alafu naye akala mazao ya mashamba uh-huh. akamnyonyesha asali iliyotoka jabalini uh-huh. na mafuta yaliyotoka katika mwamba wa gumegume Are we ready? Mko tayari? Please sir, read it one more time. Verse 13. Listen to verse 13. Starting from verse Alimpandisha mahali pa nchi palipoinuka. Uh-huh. Koma naye akala mazao ya mashamba uh-huh. akamnyonyesha asali iliyotoka jabalini uh-huh. na mafuta yaliyotoka katika mwamba wa gumegume in verse 12 katika mstari wa 12 there was a secret kulikuwa na siri a secret of Jacob that became Israel siri ya Yakobo kufanyika Israel please read it for us mstari wa 12 unasema bwana peke yake alimuongoza wala hapakuwa na Mungu mgeni pamoja naye again bwana peke yake alimuongoza uh-huh. wala hapakuwa na Mungu mgeni pamoja naye he did not have a strange god hakuwa na mungu mgeni our problem today is rain gods tatizo letu leo ni kuwa na miungu wageni we have strange gods tuna miungu wageni now this strange gods sasa miungu hii migeni will hinder us from getting to the high place itatuzuia tusifike mahali pa juu and if we don't get to the high place na usipofika mahali pa juu verse 13 will not happen mstari wa 13 hautatokea what is verse 13 mstari wa 13 ni nini please unasema alimpandisha mahali pa nchi palipoinuka uh-huh. naye akala mazao ya mashamba akala mazao ya mashamba uh-huh akamnyonyesha asali iliyotoka jabalini Aha. na mafuta yaliyotoka katika mwamba wa gumegume do you understand now melewa strange hii. gods miungu migeni strange gods miungu migeni what are the strange gods miungu migeni ni ipi hmm. dr mazasu said apostle uh, mazasu alisema leadership uongozi is a sacrifice. Ni kujitoa kama dhabihu. Yes. So we, kwa sisi, if we can be washed clean, kama tunaweza kutakaswa, then our people will be washed clean. Basi na hata watu wetu nao wataoshwa. We need to remove strange gods. Tunahitaji kuondoa miungu migeni from us. Toka kwetu sisi. I will not talk about all of them. Sitaongea ku, sita kusuhota. I will give us the point that are applicable to us today. Lakini nitatoa vipengele ambavyo vinaweza kufanya kazi kwetu leo. Number 1 straight God that we have. Mungu wa kwanza wa kigeni ambaye tunaye is unbelief. Ni kutokuamini. Unbelief is number 1 straight God. Kutokuamini ndio Mungu wa kwanza wa kigeni. If you can get rid of and break that Kama break utaweza kumuondoa mbunje, bunja, 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 then you are set for a great. Basi uko Salama. Number two. Appeal. Denomination. Madhehebu au udhehebu. Denominations. Udhehebu. This is how we do our things. Ah, uh-uh, even don't have fanya mambo yetu bwana. We don't do it like that. Atufanyagi hivi. I just told us nimewaambia tu that anything that you put your hand upon chochote unapoweka mkono wako is blessed. Kimebarikiwa. Why don't you just believe that simple instruction? Kwa nini usiamini tu hayo maelekezo rais? That when you put your hand on water, kwamba ukiweka mkono wako juu ya maji, you can put it on demonic person and they, the demon will come out. Unaweza ukamwagia mtu aliyekuwa na mapepo na mapipa yakatoka. But some people will say no 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 no. Lakini baadhi ya watu sasa hapana hapana hapana. You can do that. Uwezi fanya hivyo. You can use that. Ah ah hiyo uwezi fanya hivi. You can sit like this. Uwezi kuketi hivi. You can stand like this. Uwezi 
kusimama hivi. No, apana. Those are gods. Those are gods. Dogs. Yes. Mbwa. God. Ah, dogs. Yeah. Dogs. Ah, okay. Hiyo ni miungu. We need to get rid of the dog. Tunahitaji tuiondoe hii miungu. Number 3. Ya tatu. Condemnation. Hukumu au hatia. Yes, condemnation. Hatia. Condemnation. Hatia. If you remember, kama unakumbuka, that this man, kwamba mtu huyu, Jacob, Yakobo, you know he stole, unajua riba, then he went to his uncle. Alafu akaenda kwa mjomba wake. And he was working there. Akafanya kazi pale. And the uncle also cheated him. Mjomba naye akamtapeli. Eh? Okay, wewe umesema vizuri. Yeye alimtapeli ndugu yake na mwingine akamtapeli yeye. He cheated his brother and he was cheated by his so uncle. So the uncle now cheated him. Kwa hiyo mjomba akamtapeli. Do you know je ulifahamu is not in the record kwamba haiko kwenye kumbukumbu that this man called Jacob kama mtu huyu alikuwa kitwa Yakobo and say to himself akajiambia oh I'm suffering ah mimi ni mtu wa kiungu I'm suffering abdateseka samani because of what I did kwa sababu nilichokifanya he didn't do that ah kusema hivyo he was cheated alitapeliwa he knew he was cheated alijua ametapeliwa he said okay akasema hamna shida i will do it again Tafanya tena. He did it again. Akatapeli tena. He did it revert that was no time that he revert to his past. Hakukua na muda ambao alirudi kwenye mambo yake ya nyuma. When you continue to revert to your past, you are holding to the gods, sin god that are not supposed to be in your life. Unapoendelea kurudi kwenye maisha yako ya nyuma maana yake bado unajiunganisha na miungu migeni ambayo haipaswi kuwa kwenye maisha yako. You get that? Umeipata? Yaani maana yake yeye alikuwa anaishi maisha ya utapeli. Yes, hakusema Narudi tena kule. Ukiendelea kurudi maana yake bado unayalika miungu. He didn't say that. Hakusema hivyo. And he didn't say oh it's because of what I did that I'm suffering today. Hakusema no. ah hii ni kwa sababu ya utapeli wangu ndio maana leo nateseka. He did not condemn himself. Hakujihukumu. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says Warumi 8:1 nasema nini? There is no condemnation for you if you are in Christ. Basi sasa hakuna hukumu katika yule aliye katika Kristo Yesu. Even if you did a business. Hata kama ulifanya biashara. And you lost all the money. Na ukapoteza fedha yote. Don't think that tomorrow you will lose. Don't usifikiri kwamba kesho utapoteza. You have lost that. You have lost that. Umeshapoteza. Learn from that experience. Jifunze na huo uzoefu. Move forward. Nenda mbele. As long as your part is holding you come baba. Kwa kadri eh, maisha yako ya nyuma yanakuzuia na kushikilia. Go try to go. He can't go. The past is holding you. Siwezi kwenda kwa sababu maisha ya nyuma yanakuzuia. Kama maisha ya nyuma yanakuzuia. Huwezi kufika mahali pa juu. So condemnation is a god kwa hiyo hatia au kujihukumu ni, ni kamungu god kamungu kengine ka kigeni let the strange god go acha huyo mungu wa kigeni aondoke number 3 atatu fear hofu fear can become a god in your life hofu inaweza kufanyika kamungu katika you maisha yako you are afraid of everything wewe unaogopa kila kitu fear is a destroyer of destiny jamani hofu ndiye anayeharibu mustakabali ondoa hofu maishani mwako oh hallelujah hallelujah Deuteronomy chapter 20 just write it down kumbukumbu ya torati 20 andika tu hiyo mstari wa kwanza Deuteronomy 20 kumbukumbu ya torati 20 mstari wa kwanza inasema utokapo kwenda vitani kupigana na adui zako na kuona farasi na magari na watu wengi kuliko wewe mm. usiwaogope usiwaogope kwa kuwa bwana Mungu wako yupo pamoja nawe aliye kukueza kutoka nchi ya Misri. Verse 31, chapter 31 verse 6. Sura ya 31 na mstari wa 6. Sura ya 31 na mstari wa 6. Namalizia, eh. Biblia inasema mstari wa 6. Anasema iwe ni hodari na moyo wa ushujaa, msiogope wala msiwahofu kwa maana Bwana Mungu wako yeye ndiye aliyekwenda pamoja nawe hata kupungukia wala kukuacha. A faithful person mtu mwaminifu will not be able to invest. Ah, mtu mwenye hofu hataweza kuwekeza. A fearful person mtu aliyejana hofu will not be able to invest. Hataweza kuwekeza. Are you following me now? Nanifuata. Let fear die in your life. Acha hofu ife maishani mwako. Then you can move forward. Alafu unaweza kwenda mbele. Organize that ministry. Somebody is thinking about I want to organize a meeting in a church but I don't have money. Organize it. Mtu anafikiria sasa hivi kwamba nataka kupanga mkutano kanisani kwangu lakini sina fedha, anza kupanga huo mkutano. When God told me my ministry is in East Africa, I use my two legs to come to East Africa. Mungu aliponiambia huduma yangu iko Afrika Mashariki, nilitumia miguu yangu miwili kutembea kuingia East Africa. Don't be afraid. Usiwe na hofu. Number what? Number 5, number 4. Nne. 
wrong association kujus au mahusiano yasiyo sahihi papa awe told us papa aweta alituambia that we need friends kwamba kuhusu marafiki yes tunahitaji marafiki we need friends but we don't also need friends lakini pia tuhitaji marafiki you don't need many many friends uhitaji marafiki we you need friends that can build you up unahitaji marafiki watakaokujenga that can help you ambao watakusaidia wanaweza kukuambia ukweli right association kujihusisha kwa usahihi so but when you are in wrong association wewe ukiwa katika mahusiano yasiyo sahihi and you hold on tight to those wrong associations na unayashikilia hayo mahusiano yasiyo sahihi is become a god inafanyika kuwa ka Mungu so let that god go kwa hiyo hebu burusu ya Mungu aondoke right association mahusiano sahihi oh hallelujah amen job 627 ayubu 6:27 uh, Biblia when you are in wrong association this is what happens. Kiwa katika mahusiano yasiyo sahihi hili ndio linalotokea. Job 6:27. Ayubu 6:27. Naam, mwapenda kuwapigia kura hao mayatima na kufanya biashara ya rafiki yenu. Job 6:27. Yes. Yeah. Ye so ye overwhelm the fatherless mm-hmm. and ye dig a pit for your friends. Yes, reading Kiswahili maybe Naam, Kiswahili. Mwapenda kuwapigia kura hao mayatima na kufanya biashara ya rafiki yenu. There are some people that they are digging pit for you. Kuna watu ambao wanakuchimbia shimo and they are your friends. Na ni marafiki zako. So called friends. Wanaitwa marafiki. Psalm 62 verse 4. Zaburi ya 62 mstari ule wa 4. Psalm 62 verse 4. Sasa hiyo utaielewa vizuri. Zaburi ya 62 mstari wa 4. Uh-huh. Biblia inasema uh-huh. kufanya shauri kumwangusha tu katika cheo chake. Kumwangusha wewe rafiki zako lakini wanataka kukuangusha endelea. Your friends but they are working to make sure you go down. Uh-huh. Kufurahia uongo. Uh-huh. Kwa kinywa chao hubariki kwa uh-huh. moyo wao hulaani. You see that now? Which one is powerful? Ipi ina nguvu? I just told her before. Nimesema hiyo. That what is in the heart is more powerful than what is in the mouth. Kilicho moyoni ndio kina nguvu kuliko kinachotoka kinywani. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. They bless with their mouth. Wanabariki na vinywa vyao. But inside. Lakini huko ndani. They are cursing. Wana laani? Those are the friends that you have. Hao ndio marafiki ulio nao. Remove them. Waondoe. Delete them. Waondoe kabisa. Forget about them. Wasahau. Those are gods. Hiyo ni miungu. Finally. Hatimaye. Wow, this is dangerous one. Hii ndio hatari. Number 5. Tano. Self reliance. Self reliance. Kujitegemea binafsi. Eh. Self reliance. Kujitegemea binafsi, yani wewe ndio wewe. Wewe ndio wewe. <laughs> Unaweza kufanya kila kitu mwenyewe. You can do wewe everything alpha and the omega. You are the alpha and omega. Uhitaji mtu yoyote. You don't need anybody. Uhitaji Bora George, uhitaji Apostle Trees. Bishop Alan. Ah, dini yako ni tofauti. Wewe kila kitu chako tutakuwa kwa mwenyewe. Self reliance. Kujitegemea mwenyewe. It's a god. Huyo ni Mungu huyo. That is killing people. Ni ka Mungu kanaua watu. Get into their destiny. Wasifike kwenye mustakabali wao. Listen that you are turning your back to. Mtu ambaye unamgeuzia mgongo wako. Maybe is the one to take you there. Labda huyo ndiye atakayekufikisha unakoenda. Ecclesiastes. Muhubiri chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Mhubiri sura ya 4 mstari wa 9 na wa 10. Biblia inasema Afadhali kuwa wawili kuliko mmoja maana wapata ijara njema kwa kazi yao. Mm-hmm. Kwa maana wakianguka mmoja wao atamuinua mwenzake, lakini ole wake aliye peke yake angukapo wala hana mwingine wa kumuinua. Save reliance. Kujitegemea wewe mwenyewe. Ole wake aliye peke yake. Huwezi kufanya mwenyewe. You cannot do it alone. Una hiyo pako. You don't have that anointing. Hata Yesu Kristo mwenyewe alishindwa kufanya mwenyewe. Even Jesus Christ didn't do it himself. Alikuwa anahitaji watu. He needed these people. Na aliwatest wakati mmoja akawaambia, "Ah, wa Sabini waliondoka." Kwa sababu waliwaambia kwamba utakunywa damu yangu utakula mwili wangu aseme, "Eh, wewe umekuwa mganga wa kenyeji. Tunaondoka wakakimbia." When he tested them and told them that you drink my blood and eat my body, say, "Eh, are you a witch?" They left. Then akaondoka. They left. Yesu akageukia wengine ambao 12 akasema yeye anafanya nini? And then Jesus turned to the two say, "What are you doing here?" Ondokeni basi. You also go. Hao akasema sisi atuende mahali popote. I said twende wapi? Damu yako sio damu yako tu, hata kichwa yako tutakula. Not only your blood, even your head. So just your mouth tutatupa tunakula. Whatever you give will eat. Those are the real people. Hao ndio watu walisi. Hallelujah. And Jesus said now you I have given you power. Go. Heal 
the sick. Tu a pepo. Cast out demons. You've received it free. Give it free. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying today? So Jesus needed people. He needed disciples. Without those disciples, we will not be where we are today. Even you need people. Let's rest in our feet.